Hello there, Jeff Barton. It's uh, December the 1st. It's Friday. It's your end of week briefing from Narnia. Uh, three things, predictably. Minimum service levels, this imposition by the government on something which on principle uh, we think is a bad thing, particularly against the backdrop of such a recruitment and retention crisis. Why on earth would you want to pick a fight with a profession around something like that? There's a million people working in our schools and colleges, some of them teachers, some of them support staff, picking a fight with them in the run-up to a general election. It's a kamikaze kind of politics, that, isn't it? We talk about it a bit more in our blog today. We certainly talk about it in our email version. We'll be responding to the consultation and looking at what you're saying to us. You will be as well. This is something which is not being welcomed either by employees or employers. Misguided from a government that needs all the support it can get, I would have thought. Secondly, if you're a business leader, <clears throat> might be your role is called something else, business manager, bursa, finance officer, whatever it is, the ASCAL view is that you deserve to be reimbursed appropriately because you're a key member of the leadership team within your school or your college. We think that's a really important point of principle and we think that isn't what's happening and you definitely know that's not what's happening at the moment. We want to make that case more strenuously and one way we will be able to do that if we can have your feedback via the survey we put into the email version today about how you are enumerated at the moment. We want to make a strong case for all of those members who are business leaders. More details in the email version today. Thirdly, January the 16th, I'm going back to my roots about literacy. You'll know that's my particular interest, whole school literacy. And it was notable that despite all the other stuff which was emanating from um, Her Majesty's Chief Inspector in the annual report last week, one of the points that was made is something that is a perennial issue, that the transition from primary into secondary means that young people who are reading a lot and being taught to read in primary then lose that habit in secondary. And we want to spend some time talking about the importance of reading and how you get a culture which gives a really strong sense to, to reading because the teaching of reading is a proxy for young people's success later on and we thought it would be a good thing to revisit. 16th of January, we'd love you to join us there. In the meantime, yesterday it was a great pleasure to be in deepest Norfolk, just outside Norwich. I went to Eastern College there to visit a great FE uh, institution, Eastern College. I just absolutely loved it and was reminded of what you do in the FE sector with such a range of different ages, uh, such diversity, uh, such a sense of inclusion. I talked to Jerry White, who's the CEO of Eastern College, just about the kind of issues you're facing in the FE sector, but just great to be reminded of that. And as always, to put the C into ASCO, the college part of ASCO really matters to us as it does to you as well. And if you're somebody who likes reading, then our Leaders are Readers podcast, the latest version of that is out now. I talked to Rachel Johnson from the Pixel organisation about her new book called Time to Think, which is something we all need. If you need us, you know where we are. Hotline team are here for you over the weekend. If you just want to tell us things, things you feel cross about, things you feel happy about, happy to have any comments from you, tell us at askall.org.uk. Main thing is this weekend, I think, wrap up warm. That's it. Over and out from Narnia. <laughs>